And Maximus Analysis here for August 17th, 2015, and we see we have declining volume in the middle of the chop. So let's look at the chop, midpoint, around there, got above. Actually tested the 2100 level, which was actually, I thought it was a little bit more than I um, was expecting, but now we just have to make sure that we stay above this low. The low is 2074, 75. Okay, we still have not cleared what was considered to be the buy signal last Monday. Yeah, so this was the last Monday, and they pretty much went, this is very sideways and violent. Okay, so it's even harder. As much as you like to day trade stuff that has volatility, I like to day trade stuff that is trending. And again, they're closing near the highs of the, into the highs going into the close. But we then got to see and make sure we're looking at the big picture of kind of where we are within space. So we have these lows that we want to make sure that are held right here. Uh, breaking out here, but need to get above here, here, here. And you can see we have, uh, we definitely just need right here to hold. Uh, right now we have, um, if we're looking on the hourly, we see that we're about a little extended in the volume. So we want to see how deep the pullback is. Again, we do not want it to get back into this 80-20 Excuse me, the 2085, 80, 20, uh, 2080 area. We've been talking about that many times. You can see the volume starting to wane off into the close. Uh, and again, it gave it, it was all pretty much at 10 o'clock. They ramped it up and then it was just very sideways for the rest of the day. Not much going on. Again, you just want to make sure you, again, besides this little dip right here, it was just float, float, uh, which is a very, very hard type of uh, move to, to, to trade. So again, we'll see what, how they continue, and we want to see if they're going to have some continuation going into tomorrow because we've seen this parabolic move both sides where people were super bullish buying into the close and then instantly got worked over in, um, coming into the, uh, the open the next day. So we just want to see some type of uh, – make sure that they stop playing games with us, quite honestly, because that's what it's starting to feel like. Uh, it's not a good feeling. Again, it's to keep your powder dry while they do this stuff. So again, we see we have higher highs that are exp um, that are higher lows. Excuse me, that have been uh, put in place here. Here, we just want to make sure that this is not just the false breakout here, and we want this uh, 4480 area to hold on the NQ. We have some names that are setting up. We just want to see if they're going to follow through. Uh, we have the YM. Uh, the one that is probably the most broken out of everyone and again you could get all the way up to here which i said and if you see the volume already starting to wane and a break of this low they could continue to the upside i'd rather see them pop it up more actually if I, to short into but uh we'll see we already got one two three bars in and we'll see how much uh gas they have we're already seeing right now that it's starting to gas out so just be be cautious regarding that one iwm gave you a good uh a good bull candle but again we have to see it get out of this channel first and i didn't mean for that to rhyme it just worked out like that so we just have to see how this one goes and uh go from there we have crude continued it was choppy day and then it ended up breaking down going into the close and you can see again that this is still caught in a very bearish type of uh, situation you can see on oops not the 125 the 15. You can see that they pretty much just close, you know, came ramped up, and then uh, they sold it off into the close, and now they're just drifting. Crude uh, closes around that uh, <clears throat> um, two thirty time frame. So again, it wasn't much action, and, and the good thing about your strategy, and again, this is something to kind of think, is that everybody has a trading strategy, but this is one of the best times to test it, meaning. Is your strategy firing off a, a buy every single other day or is it telling you I don't have anything and you're going to have to wait? And also remember that the best indicator is between your ears. So don't look at, you know, MACD does this and this. If it's choppy, you have to be able to look at the price action and kind of diagnose from there versus trading just like a machine. And that works good sometimes when you have a trend in your favor, but there's no trend. Uh, we, 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 we have to be very cautious with that. And you see with Apple, volume dying. Needs to get above this 121, 122 area in a worse way. Price line actually, it looks like it's closing good. Uh, good little engulfing pattern right here. Uh, it's about $30 tick range. So let's see if they follow through again for tomorrow. Uh, they did fill this gap, which was good. You had um, 
Netflix uh, continuing, but again, the volume's waning off, but it, we've seen that happen before. It's just boom, boom, you know, and then you, you just see it float, 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 you know, so we got to see how this one plays out. Uh, Google, Google again, if they can hold these levels, it, it looks, it gave us buy signal, but I just didn't want to take it so far up. Uh, but again, it, it's laying above this previous high, and let's see if they can continue to the upside because they need to give us some volume. That volume is dead. Uh, we have um, Tesla. Very difficult to trade this one um, if you're looking to go short because you've had two gap ups. You have one gap up fade and another that faded, but it looks okay. To, we want to see if, again, they got to this level and they've right here. So again, if they break this low, that will make things interesting. Let's make sure you put a little uh, a little uh, alert for under 20, 50, 50. That would be something I would just definitely want to look at and see what's going on from there. You had Goldman Sachs, down name, volume dry. They, I think they moved up uh, United Healthcare. Uh, that one, they, no, that's not it. United Healthcare. Uh, they moved that one up. They popped that one. I think it was also Velo. Valero, they popped up as well. So we're going to see if they have any follow through with that. Um, kind of just go from there. Again, we, we, we'll look at the other names. Amazon, uh, <clears throat> just sideways again. It's just, this is painful, dude. And again, it's to say, uh, don't look at wave, wave analysis. It's very difficult during these times. They're closing this uh, close to the to, the, to 2100, which again, it's been so long. So again, I'm not looking, I'm looking for more than one one day. I, I, I'm sorry. I need to. You need to keep your your money. Um, you need to see more than one day. You know, you, you could say, "Oh, this is a hammer," and now it's one, two, three. Well, but guess what? The volume is dying down too. So I want to see what they do tomorrow, and if it's going to continue with the choppiness, and uh, then we'll continue to look at this stuff. We'll look at LinkedIn, and uh, you can see that's not doing anything as well. And I think Home Depot has earnings tomorrow. Uh, so they, they did move up these Dow names, uh, McDonald's, uh, they popped up and a couple of other, you know, a couple other ones that, again, you have Chevron that got crushed back down to the downside that they popped up last. Remember when I said, oh, shit, they're popping up stuff. We'll look at the trend. Well, guess what? You don't want to buy off that, you know, and let's see what Solar City is doing. Solar City still holding this area right here. So. We want to see, again, there's uh, somebody that follows me that we'll see if they give us some more uh, upside potential. So, again, it's another choppy, corny day. Well, not corny. Let's say it's just V, V bottom, V tops. It seems like it's such a common thing intraday right now uh, that we got to see some type of conviction either way. Because, uh, again, you don't want you want to sit on your hands while this thing plays itself out because, you know, squint your eyes. Don't look at anything. You can see that we're in the chop. We put it on the weekly time frame, and you can see we're definitely in the chop. So we're just sideways right now. Respect the underlying trend, but just be very cautious on any breakdowns below these these levels. They've been flirting with them like crazy. 2080 area leads to 2036 area. After that, it goes to uh, 1974, and then could go to 1960. So let's see what happens, and uh, take care.